A Utah family right now is trapped in Gaza, waiting for help from the U.S. Embassy. Lena Basiso is traveling with her family in the Middle East. They took that trip in March, but while there, one of her daughter's passports expired. Now, the U.S. Embassy in Jerusalem still has not been able to get that passport renewed yet, leaving her family stuck. And Lena is now joining me now for more on this. Lena, I understand you're in the dark, which is part of the reason we thought maybe we had dropped the shot. Can you tell me a little bit more about your situation? How is an expired passport now leaving you stuck there for this long? Well, because the American embassy did not help and assist us to leave Gaza to renew my daughter Serene's passport or my grandson's. So um, we've been stuck here in Gaza, unable to leave because you can't leave with an expired passport. And before the passports expired, Serene has been trying since March and her son's passport expired in July. Her passport expired in September. And she's been trying since March to go to Jerusalem, our American embassy, to renew those passports so she can travel back home. Now, your and trip... we've been stuck... Lena, go ahead. Huh? So we've been stuck in Gaza, unable to travel. And the IDF soldiers do not allow us through Aries. We don't get a permit. Can yeah, you tell me, ahead. what was it like there? I'm just really exhausted. It's been seven day, six, seven days that we haven't really slept and ongoing bombing. What was it like there before this all started over the weekend? And how have things changed since then? Well, life here in Gaza is actually beautiful. It's very nice. The people are nice. Um, there's places to go, things to do. People care for each other. And it doesn't matter if they're Christian, Muslim, they're all a one person, people, okay? The thing is, you can't leave Gaza unless the Israelis, the Israeli government allows you to leave through the... Uh, the Aries checkpoint. And to be able to leave through Egypt, you have to register and go through a lot of process as well to be able to leave um, Egypt. So what are you hearing from, from the U.S. Embassy or U.S. authorities about this The U.S. Right Embassy now? here has, always tells us and informs us that they can't do anything, that they can't help with the permit where they can. They can work with the IDF soldiers that are on the borders and permit a permit for the American citizens to leave or even other citizens of Gaza. But if the Gazans aren't allowed to leave the area, then I, I don't know. I, it's just all terrible here. I'm very tired. I'm exhausted. I haven't slept for six days. Um, as you see, and it's not like there, it, it, it's just awful, all this destruction. What causes this destruction? The Gazans are living in an open air prison, and I'm sure you know the true story. The true story is they're living in an open air prison. If they don't have the right to leave, if they don't have access to electricity, power, food, whatnot, if Israel doesn't allow goods to come into Gaza, then goods are not allowed into Gaza. Uh, Lena, the workers, what? Well, I'm just wondering, in the midst of all this, how are you getting yes. by day to day? How are you trying to keep you and your family safe? Safe? We're trying our best. We go down to my mother-in-law's, and she lives on the first floor. So the building shakes, windows shatter. Right now, we have the generator on just so, because there's no power. We have the generator on just so I can have this phone call this to stream on on air with you. And I'm, I miss my kids. I want to be home with my kids and my grandchildren. Lena, I can't, I can't imagine it. I hope you find a way out of this soon. And I hope you're home hugging your baby soon. Thank um, you so much. One more thing, one more thing. Sure, we were go told ahead. by the American embassy to go to the Rafah border. That's the 
crossing between Gaza and Egypt. We went and we were supposed to be able to travel because we're American citizens. And we were not able to travel that day because Israel started bombing the um, borders at the, Egypt, at the Egyptian side and the Palestinian side. And we were told just to go home. Luckily, we still had the um, taxi driver that took us there. He was with us and he drove us home. Almost everybody else had to walk home in the sand, hot, humid, while there was bombing on their way home. It, it sounds, I can understand why you're exhausted. I can understand why you haven't slept in six days. Lena, I hope that you find a way out of this soon and that the, the U.S. is able to help you get back here. Thank okay. you so much for sharing your story with us. You're Wishing welcome. you safety. Thank you. Not like, it's not like we really got anywhere, but it's okay. Thank you. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.